Hello guys! Today Hola. I am traveling with my sister Nina. If you've seen my previous videos, you've seen her before. Today we are in Heimlin and it's another fairy tale town of Germany. So we're walking through the old town and the buildings are so pretty like this is 100% German town it's like old old farmer houses with the white and the black Ach, and yeah. the <laughs> we say it in German Greetings from Hamelin! <laughs> So we just started exploring Hamelin and found the pancake house where we're gonna have the lunch. We just ordered some coffee and we're waiting for our pancakes. Coffee. So we decided to have lunch in this cute little pancake house. We got coffee and they even give you like this little chocolate. So Milka is like the most famous German chocolate and I personally love it. So you should try this one. And I'm really excited for pancakes. So I ordered the pancake with camembert and some like berry cream. And Nina got one with apples and cinnamon. <laughs> Our first pancake ride! So this is apple with almonds and cream fresh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna share this one and then we're gonna share the next one so we can try two. Okay. We're trying the pancake with cream. Mm. It's actually really good. So I can definitely recommend the apple pancakes here. I've made apple pancakes myself before, but this is like another level of pancakes. And here's our camembert and berry cream pancake. So I think they put um, pear on top. And usually this pancake is with ham, but because we're vegetarian, we order it without ham, which is not a problem. This is rice meal. I forgot the word in English. <laughs> but it's like a berry. Mm. I like this one even more. It's so good. <laughs> So this is the pancake house. The pancakes were absolutely delicious. There are so many cute little houses here in Hamelin. So we just want this one. This is a painting and of course the door is like I'm not really tall. And I put on I guess but sorry for the soil. Very difficult. <laughs> so when you go to Hamelin, the best thing that you can do is park somewhere close to the old town and then you just start walking because it really isn't that big like we've already walked a few streets twice because it's not very big but like the little streets are just so beautiful so just wander around find a nice restaurant and enjoy the town so we're back at the main street with the shops we actually didn't intend to go here but like i said Heimelin is like round so if you just keep walking, you can't really get lost because if you get to a big street, then you just turn around and you're back into the old town. Let me tell you the story of the Pied Piper from England. So in 1284, the town actually had a problem with rats. So there were way too many rats. And then a strange guy came into the town and he said that with his pipe, he can remove all of them. And they said they're gonna pay him if he does so. 
So he let all of the rats with the pipe into the river and they all drowned. He came back, but they refused him to pay. So what he did was he was playing the pipe and he let all of the children out of the town. They've never been seen again. So 130 children disappeared from the town, and this is actually true. So I don't know how much from the story of the Pied Piper is true, but 130 children actually disappeared here in 1284. So it's actually a pretty dark story, but I think it's really interesting that you will find like little symbols and statues and everything about rats in this little town. And of course the Brothers Grimm made a fairy tale out of the song. walking over the little bridge with the giant golden rat where after the fairy tale the rats drown in this river which is the Vesa it's actually the same river where we look at but this one is a little smaller the architect was like I'm gonna build a golden big rat on the bridge. <laughs> Look at this cute picture. It shows the story. You can see the rats and the kids that he let out of the town. Look at this house. I can't believe how pretty this town is. So the last time I was here was in primary school and they told us the story about the Pied Piper. Pi Piper? <laughs> it's so hard to say it in English. In German, it's the Rattenfinger, which I think is a lot easier. But, anyways, it's like such a long time ago I've been here, but it's so beautiful. <laughs> So we have this little store that's called Unverpackt Laden, which is like an, a store for foods that aren't packed. So you can go there with like a jar or box and then just buy the amount of foods without any package. So that reduces a lot of rubbish. And plastic free. Yeah, plastic free. <laughs> so everything that you bring into the store, they put it on a scale and then they take the white off when you pay. So you're only paying for the food without any packaging. So it's the third time we see the pancake house. <laughs> <laughs> So we're back in the car and we're heading home now. So should you visit Hamelin? I think yes, because it's just such a cute little town. And also during Christmas time, they have a really nice Christmas market. So here you only need like a half day or maybe a full day and then you can keep on traveling. And I hope to see you again in my next video. Bye guys.